of season two! Who the hell Chief are you? Rose. I'm Brian. Uh, guys, thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be back. We've got 14 root beers lined up, guys. That's insane. And, and, and the, the whammy to all this is I don't even like root beer. <laughs> First up, we have Mug, which is owned by the Pepsi Corporation. Super creamy. Um, I want to say um, I like root beer. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to, uh, okay, hard on my sleeve. I'm going to come out and just say it. I, I've been wanting to get this off my shoulders for years. I had a root beer phase in high school. 100% root beer phase, man. Uh, for me, it was uh, kind of, it was a kindergarten through about middle school, even into high school. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, root beer was definitely my thing. I don't know, it might have actually been Charlie Brown that spawned it, because I seem to recall Charlie Brown did A&W root beer commercials oh, at some maybe. point in the, in the past. It wasn't very long or whatever, but I think that might have been just that. That was it. That's all it took, man. They moved on Martin to life insurance, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah, so, right. Met yeah. Matt. I will, I will <laughs> say real quick that growing up in England, we really didn't have root beer, per se. We uh -huh. had Dr. Pepper, um, <laughs> which I always thought of Dr. Pepper as being the tastier, mm -hmm. non-medicinal flavored root beer that there is, but uh, I, I get some strange, strange looks from you boys, so, uh, but I'm willing to give this a try. My dad loves root beer, so I will give it a shot. Root beer is cool, man, and if you predate it, sarsaparilla was the big thing mm -hmm. back in, I don't know, early to mid 1900s, so, um, A&W, or not A&W, but mug, I've always associated being a very creamy knit. It is. That, that's, that's its selling point, and I have not had it in quite a while, but it's certainly, yes. Next oh. up, we've got A&W. <laughs> this, is, this is probably the uh, most iconic American label. And A&W, I believe, is part of the, uh, is it 7-Up family? Dr. Yeah, Royal, family? Royal Crown, 7-Up, yeah. Uh, seven up. yeah. Rupert Floats, A&W is kind of like the go-to for Rupert Float, I think. Strange, just how different the the, the two are. Mm -hmm. this, it's definitely less creamy. It's kind of got that more. Um, I, I, I want to say you can tell that this, this is high, high fructose corn syrup instead of sugar that went into I this. I also thought Tim. They're and, both high fructose. Sorry. Mm -hmm. When I think of mug, I've always thought about cream, creaminess. Mm -hmm. When I think of A and W, I almost think of a caramel mm -hmm. or a caramel. Yeah. You know, mm, and there's a bit of that going on. Well, they have a made with aged vanilla. I definitely get the vanilla back note on there. Uh, <laughs> Barks has got bite, and we're going to look at Barks next. Mm -hmm. Barks is always what I, it's got root to me. It's got like a, a strong uh, kick, and I never really detected that before with A&W, but I did a little bit on, yeah. on that. Barks is also the only root beer that I'm aware of that actually has caffeine in it. And according to my buddy who lives uh, in Alaska, the Barks up there has no caffeine, and he's very angry about that, so I don't know if it's a regional thing. You just have trouble keeping, uh, keeping awake. And Barks, then, yeah. uh, it's good since 1890. I had to make sure I wasn't misreading that. Insane. Been around for 115 plus. I love the aged barrels on the front. It's uh, kind of the, I won't say classy root beer, but there's something about that tradition that is unmistakable. And it is the Coca-Cola company. Um, it is. We, I, I sway more towards Coke, guys, when it comes mm -hmm. to products overall. Um, I know how you guys are on that spectrum. You know, Barks has never been my favorite, but that drink was pretty pleasant. It's making a decent showing of itself here. Yeah, guys, yeah. What, what's root beer supposed to taste like? like? I mean, what is a root beer? Like, is it the I'll tell you that you there. kill LeChuck in Monkey Island. Actually, I'm going to take you there now. The I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you I'm gonna take the ass there right now. Damn. My favorite root beer is right here, Katie. Oh, I know, I know. This is from a company called Sprecher. Sprecher. And I don't know if that's the proper pronunciation. We I mean, always call Sprecher in these. So. Okay. I, I feel we should let the fans know. It's truly old-fashioned soda. It's got a rich, creamy flavor. It only comes, though, from using pure Wisconsin honey directly from the combs. Interesting. Pretty interesting, right? You did, you did not expect that. Our extracts are prepared at the brewery in a handmade, gas-fired brew kettle Ooh. by combining honey, pure vanilla, and a host of aromatic botanicals. Wow, very hipsterish. Yes, I know. The most hipster of, uh, of drinks. The, the dark honey brew will build a delicious frothy head when properly poured into a wow. frosted mug. This certainly sounds... But I'm telling you what, you, you asked a question, Katie. You said, what does what is root beer supposed to taste like? To me, this is the definition of root beer. It uses glucose syrup 
And, and probably to me, the biggest difference that I, I feel when I drink this is I don't have that sensation like it's clinging to my teeth and they're ready to rot out of my mouth yeah. immediately. I, I like that. That's I actually kind of mixed mine around in the mouth and got a nice little froth one, and mm -hmm. yeah, it went down super smooth. Um, it kind of tastes like honey, like the wild cherry one does too. It yes. has that kind of aftertaste too. You got me so the you asked what root beer is. Mm -hmm. To me, this is the definition of root beer. Is it kind of, are you, I mean, you might not be a fan, a, a flag waving fan yet, but can you kind of dig the root beer experience? I, 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 can, I, I made it for the Sam Adams beer reviews, so I'll make it for this, guys. You may, cool. you may convert me, so. You know, uh, I, I got blew it on the jet. Now, I, I, I recently did a co-production with this guy, Toby, from Toby Vlog. Not the same type of deal. I get at the airport, he leaves a, a Rambo big one home for me. I gotta ride three hours to get to set. You guys treat me right, man. Good job, Toby. I'm proud of you, boy. These are, what? I mean, you wanted the season finale to be dope, so you brought me in here. You mean the season premiere? The season, did I say finale? I'll do my own pours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. I get nothing. I'm gonna do my own pours. Yeah. They got the they got an adorable uh, 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 bulldog with a frothy mug. They got uh, David Boyce Jr. or Rick Steiner. I don't know who you want to go with. I can already Green. tell by the end of this review, I am going to be a gaseous giant. Like it's already oh. starting. Yeah. Hashtag gaseous giant. Yeah, yeah. How do you spell that? The, this is the first of many hashtags. S e o u s. I-A-N-T. Okay, editor, you double check that, please, for me. We, uh, I sway more towards Coke, guys, when it comes to products overall. Um, I don't know how you guys are on that spectrum. Well, we all know you're a swinger. Uh, a fan of Johnny Swinger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Side uh, one swinger. My husband just gave me an evil look. Camera two, I'm gonna look at you now. I don't think I can look at camera one anymore. Um, I know. You know. Uh, you know, know what I'm talking about. Uh, excuse me, Timothy. I warned you. <laughs>